The film begins with a pretty woman named Kyungwoo. At that time, she's packing a gift for her boyfriend. But when she goes to meet him, he surprises her by ending their relationship. Feeling sad, Kyungwoo meets up with her high school best friend, Song Yuk, at his cafe. Her friends ask why she broke up, and she admits it's because she wasn't really serious about the relationship. She realizes she's been missing and loving a guy she knew from high school. She's been trying to call him for years, but he changed his number a long time ago so she can't reach him. The story takes us back to Kyung Woo's high school days. On the first day of school, she's walking and listening to music when suddenly a guy named Lee Soo stops her because her shoelaces are untied. Lee Soo is a popular student, surrounded by many girls because he's good-looking. But despite all the attention, he's only warm to Kyung Woo. This kindness makes her develop feelings for him, hoping for more than just friendship. From that day on, she secretly watches Lee Su. On the other hand, Lee Su comes from a rich family, but his parents have been divorced for a while. Even though they try to spend time with him on weekends, he is tired of their drama. Instead, he chooses to hang out with Kyung Woo. In contrast to Lee Su, whose parents are divorced, Kyung Woo seems to have a happy family because her parents really love her and fully support her dream of becoming a writer. At that time, they spend Christmas Eve together, going to a movie. There, Kyung Woo keeps watching Lee Soo, and he looks back at her sometimes. They have a great time, but then, Lee Soo drops the bombshell, he's going to America for school. Kyung Woo feels sad but can't change his decision. The next day, Kyung Woo, who really likes Lee Soo, decides to follow him to the airport. She finally tells Lee Soo that she has feelings for him. But sadly, Lee Soo doesn't feel the same way. He only sees Kyung Woo as a friend. Back in the present time, Kyung Woo, who's been drinking with friends, steps outside for some fresh air. She sits alone, trying to call Lee Su. To her surprise, he picks up the phone. As they talk, Kyung Woo is shocked to see Lee Su standing right in front of her. But because she's drunk, she thinks it's just a dream. The next day, while at work, Kyung Woo complained that her hands were sore. She thought it was from hitting the boxing machine. But then her friend told her that she actually hit Lee Su. Kyung Woo couldn't believe it at first thinking it was just a dream. But it turns out, what happened wasn't a dream. Lee Su had really come to see her. Later, Lee Su walked Kyung Woo home. Along the way, she asked how long he would be staying in Korea. Lee Su said he was just on vacation and would go back to America next week. But before he left, he wanted to spend more time with Kyung Woo. The next day, Kyung Woo went to work as usual. When she finished, she met Lee Su again, who asked her to go for a walk. But when Kyung Woo told him she loved him, Lee Su said he just wanted to be friends. He didn't want to date her and asked her not to confess her love again. To clear her mind, Kyum Wu went on a vacation to Jeju City the next day. She rented a room at an inn, but had to work there because she didn't have much money. Coincidentally, Lee Su was also in Jeju for vacation. One morning, Kyum Wu went to a bookstore to show her calligraphy. But the shopkeeper seemed rude and ignored her. Even when she explained her work, the shopkeeper didn't pay attention, just kept reading. Kung Wu wanted to see if the shopkeeper even looked at her art, so she peeked outside. As Kung Wu was peeking outside, she was startled and fell. Luckily, a man named Su Jun caught her. When Kung Wu tried to remove her hair stuck in Su Jun's jacket, she struggled. Su Jun noticed and took off his jacket, giving it to her before going into the bookstore. While Kung Wu was trying to remove her hair from Su Jun's jacket, she managed to do it, and, as a thank you gesture, she slipped one of her calligraphy pieces into the jacket. Then, she returned the jacket to Su Jun. But Kyum Wu realized the shopkeeper hadn't even noticed her calligraphy. Feeling upset, she took her artwork back and left the shop feeling very sad. In that moment, Kyum Wu felt really down and decided to go to a beautiful hill to calm herself. Coincidentally, Li Su was there too, taking photos of the scenery. At that time, Kyum Wu kept thinking about her bad luck while she was alone. Suddenly, Li Su came up to her. Suddenly, Kyum Wu got nervous and tried to move away from him, but she ended up falling and hurting her leg. Seeing this, Lee Su quickly helped her up and took her back to the inn. Meanwhile, Su Jun is introduced as a wealthy boss and CEO of a book publishing company. He was impressed by the calligraphy artwork Kyung Wu had left in his jacket. Later that afternoon, Lee Su meets Su Jun. Su Jun offers Lee Su a job opportunity to work together on a book project. As they talk, they notice Kyung Wu about to enter a cafe. When she comes in, she bumps into Su Jun. On the other hand, Su Jun, impressed by Kyung Wu's calligraphy, praised her work, making Kyung Wu happy. Later, at a cafe, Kyung Wu bumped into Lee Su again. 
When Lee Su noticed Kyung Woo's leg injury, he felt guilty and immediately helped her. After finishing their business, they took a break at the beach. They stood on rocks by the shore. Kyung Woo realized she needed to move on from Lee Su to open her heart to others. Lee Su wanted them to stay friends, but Kyung Woo insisted they shouldn't meet again. Before leaving, Kyung Woo gave Lee Su a goodbye kiss, marking the end of their relationship. One day at Su Jun's company, there was a problem because their usual calligraphy artist ended their contract. Su Jun remembered Kyung Woo and offered her a job. Upon hearing that, she was thrilled because her hard work had finally paid off. Soon after, she went to Su Jun's office and started working. Her calligraphy art was well liked by many. Later that day, Su Jun made a deal with Lee Su at the company. He mentioned that Lee Su would work with their new employee, who would be doing calligraphy for their book project. This meant Kyung Woo and Lee Su would have to work together. Luckily, he was okay with it. However, when Kyung Woo found out she would be working with Lee Su, she felt uneasy and hesitant to continue. Soon after, Lee Su followed Kyung Woo right away. Even though Kyung Woo had said many times that she didn't want to see Lee Su again, he didn't mind because he wanted to stay by her side. Kyung Woo thought about it again and realized that if she quit the project just because Lee Su was there, she would miss out on her dream. So, she decided to keep going with the project. After they signed the contract, it started raining heavily outside. Before leaving, Kyung Woo reminded Lee Su that even though he had changed, she would stick to her decision. If they weren't friends anymore, Lee Su agreed and left immediately. As Lee Su was walking, he suddenly remembered that Kyung Woo forgot her umbrella. So he decided to go back and give her one. But as he turned around, he saw Kyung Woo walking home with Su Jun. Then, Lee Su's expression changed instantly. Later that night, Lee Su found Kyung Woo alone in a store. He asked her about her relationship with Su Jun. Kyung Woo replied that they were just friends and nothing more. Lee Su realized that he shouldn't be jealous anymore because now they were not even friends, but strangers who acted like they had never met before. The next day, they went to Hongnik University for their book project. Lee Su took pictures while Kyung Woo wrote down everything they saw and experienced. They were working together to create a book about the university. On the way, Kyung Woo asked Lee Su if he had ever been in a relationship. Lee Su explained that relationships can bring both happiness and heartache, like what his parents went through. Because of this, he decided to avoid romantic relationships altogether. Kyung Woo understood why Lee Su always rejected her feelings after hearing this. After they finished working, Lee Su asked Kyung Woo to have dinner together that night. But just then, Su Jun called Kyung Woo and invited her to dinner. Lee Su overheard the conversation and went quiet. Soon after, Kyung Woo met Lee Soo and asked him not to tell Soo Joon that she used to like him. Lee Soo wondered why it mattered so much to her. Kyung Woo explained that if Soo Joon found out, she would feel embarrassed because she had liked him for a long time without it being mutual. When Kyung Woo was about to leave, Lee Soo, feeling jealous, stopped her and asked her not to go. But Kyung Woo reminded him that he didn't have the right to be jealous anymore because they were just friends. After hearing that Lee Soo went quiet, soon after, Kyung Woo and Su Jun went to a fancy restaurant and Kyung Woo seemed to enjoy the dinner. Then, unexpectedly, Su Jun asked what would happen if they were meant to be together. Kyung Woo was shocked, feeling it was too soon to think about a relationship since they had just met. The next day, Kyung Woo was so sick that she slept all day. She woke up when Su Jun called and asked her to see a doctor. When she came out, she found Lee Su already there. They rushed to take her to the doctor, but luckily, Jin Ju arrived and took Kyung Woo away. Lee Su then asked Su Jun what was really going on between him and Kyung Woo. Su Jun loudly declared that they were officially dating. Then Su Jun asked Lee Su once again if he had feelings for Kyung Woo. Lee Su replied that he didn't, and he insisted that he didn't love her. Su Jun felt relieved and hoped Lee Su meant what he said. The next morning, Kyung Woo was feeling better. Lee Su picked her up for work as they had to continue their book project. They were together, going around different places to take photos for their book. While descending a ladder, Kyung Woo's foot slipped on some loose rocks. She accidentally hugged Lee Su, who was right in front of her. It was awkward for a moment, but they soon went back to normal. In the evening after work, Su Jun picked up Kyung Woo, and they all went to a restaurant together. Before they went in, Kyung Woo asked Lee Su not to tell Su Jun that she had ever liked him. While they were eating, Su Jun asked how close Kyung Woo and Lee Su used to be. There. Kyung Woo said they were just regular friends who were still getting to know each other. But Lee Su disagreed, saying they had been close but things didn't work out. 
He admitted he once liked Kung Wu, but she turned him down twice. This left her speechless and unsure how to respond. At that moment, Su Jun had to step out briefly because his assistant called with an urgent matter. Then, Kim Wu got upset with Lee Su for always giving her false hope. She said she wouldn't believe him anymore. But Lee Su stopped her and said he genuinely loves her now. However, Kim Wu, feeling disappointed, ignored Lee Su's declaration of love. The next day, Kim Wu went to a cafe with Su Jun. There, Su Jun made a sweet riddle that piqued Kim Wu's curiosity. Through the riddle, Su Jun expressed his love for Kim Wu. But he didn't ask for an answer right away. Instead, he suggested she answer on her birthday, which was coming up that weekend. The following day, Lee Su and Kim Wu got back to working on their book project. While they were working, secretly, Lee Su snapped a photo of Kim Wu's face. He had mentioned before that he never took photos of women, and if he did, it meant they were special to him. Later, when he printed the photo at home, he realized his feelings for Kung Wu were genuine. He understood how painful unrequited love could be. To be sure of his feelings, Li Su met Kung Wu again. During their meeting, he asked for just three seconds to look at her. Then he hugged her warmly, surprising Kung Wu. But afterward, she started feeling torn about who to choose. Later, Li Su offered to take Kung Wu home. As they said goodbye, Li Su suggested going on a date to Num Sun Tower the next day. However, this put Kim Wu in a tough spot because she already had plans to go on a date with Su Jun. She felt torn between choosing Lee Su, her best friend, whom she's had feelings for since high school, even though he's hurt her before but now gives her hope again, or choosing Su Jun, a successful CEO, who seems genuinely in love with her. The next day, Kim Wu made a decision and went to meet Su Jun as planned. But instead of accepting Su Jun's love, Kim Wu told him she couldn't. Then she headed straight to Num Sum Tower to meet Lee Su. While she waited, Lee Su called, saying he couldn't make it because of an urgent matter. But he actually had an accident and passed out. But instead of telling the truth, Lee Su lied and said he didn't come because of work. Hearing this, Kim Wu felt disappointed once again. Hurt and upset, she also lied and said she was with Su Jun. Walking alone in the rain, Kim Wu felt a deep pain, realizing she was facing heart edge from the same person again. When Lee Su arrived at Kim Wu's house, he saw Su Jun waiting for her. When Kim Wu saw him, she hugged Su Jun right away. There, Lee Su witnessed the hug and left for Sung Yuk's cafe. There, he drank a lot to try to forget about Kim Wu. But when he woke up from his drunkenness, he felt even more pain. It seemed that Kim Wu and Su Jun's relationship was very romantic. They were happy together, and Su Jun looked genuinely happy with Kim Wu, whom he had liked for a long time. At that time, Kung Wu was also happy to have found someone to fill the void left by Li Su. Meanwhile, Li Su appeared to have moved on from Kung Wu. One day during a photo shoot, it started raining suddenly, ruining their plans. But for Li Su, the rain was a blessing because it brought him closer to Kung Wu. Since they couldn't take photos that day, they decided to try again the next day. After the shoot, they went to a cafe. There, Kung Wu noticed a wound on Li Su's hand, but he didn't tell her how he got it. There, Kim Wu expressed gratitude that Li Su didn't go to Num Sun Tower that day. This saddened Li Su because Kim Wu seemed happy despite his own heartache. But he felt a bit better when Kim Wu invited him to watch a movie together. However, when they arrived at the cinema, Li Su saw Su Jun there, and it hurt him deeply, so he left. The next day, Li Su visited his mother and opened up about his struggles in love. His mother encouraged him to keep trying. Feeling supported by his mother, Li Su met Kim Wu the following day while she was doing a photo shoot. However, Kim Wu received a call from the film company, informing her that their collaboration was cancelled. Upon hearing that, she felt sad, but Li Su tried to cheer her up. He even invited her to dinner at his place that evening, which she accepted. But before they could eat, Li Su received a call from his mother asking for help. He had to leave for a while to assist her. While waiting, Kim Wu suddenly felt the urge to use the restroom. When she opened the door, she found a photo of herself that Lee Su had taken secretly. This reminded her of what Lee Su had said before, that if he took a photo of a woman, it meant he sincerely loved her. At that time, Kim Wu felt conflicted and quickly left to meet Yang He. Then she shared what happened with Yang He, who revealed that when Kim Wu went to Num Sun Tower, Lee Su had also gone there. But he had an accident on the way and ended up unconscious. Hearing this, Kim Wu fell silent. The next day, Kim Wu's friends went to an orphanage to donate and help out. At that time, they'd all pitched in to support the orphanage. Meanwhile, 
Li Su kept trying to talk to Kung Wu about the photo of her at his house. But Kung Wu avoided him every time. When she got tired and fell asleep, Li Su tried to comfort her. But Su Chun intervened and told Li Su to stop pursuing Kung Wu, because she no longer had feelings for him. Li Su was left to contemplate this on his own. However, at that moment, Yun Jae approached him. At that time, Yun Jae, who knew that Li Su was heartbroken because of Kyung Wu, told him that when Li Su had his accident, Kyung Wu had actually gone to Num Sun Tower and waited for him. Hearing this, Li Su was shocked. Feeling hopeful again, he rushed to meet Kyung Wu and explained about his accident. But Kyung Wu, who was already with Su Jun, said it was too late for Li Su and he missed his chance. On the other hand, Kyung Wu tearfully asked Li Su to leave and not come back, as seeing him only made things harder for her. At that time, she was trying to forget him and focus on her relationship with Su Jun. Li Su, feeling regretful, stayed silent. He realized he had wasted his time and decided to burn all the photos and memories of Kyung Wu, accepting his fate. Shortly after, Li Su told Kyung Wu that their photo shoot the next day would be their last one together. The next day, they went for their final photo shoot for the book they were working on. During the shoot, Kyung Wu avoided Li Su whenever he came near. But then a woman found Li Su's wallet near Kyung Wu and returned it to him. Soon after, Kyung Wu took the wallet and found a photo of herself inside. Before she could say anything, the woman returned Li Su's wallet. There Li Su realized that the last photo of Kyung Wu was missing from his wallet. He searched for it desperately, even when it started raining. Eventually, Kyung Wu showed up and surprised Li Su by revealing she already knew about the photo. They both realized that their friendship was more important than any photo. There, Li Su promised that he wouldn't give up on chasing Kyung Wu. Even if she decided to reject his love, he insisted that his feelings for her were genuine. He vowed to keep loving her even if she only saw him as a friend. Hearing this, Kyung Wu, who still had feelings for Li Su, could only stay quiet and couldn't persuade him to stop. After thinking it over, Kyung Wu called Su Jun and arranged to meet him the next night. When that came, they met up at a cafe as planned. At that moment, Kyung Wu, who had made up her mind, firmly told Su Jun that she couldn't continue their relationship. She felt it was impossible to keep two hearts at the same door. There, Kyung Wu explained that if Su Jun kept pushing their relationship while she was still thinking about someone else, it would only hurt him more. So she decided to step back from their toxic relationship. After that incident, one month passed. It's been reported that the book project developed by Lee Su Kyung Woo and Su Jun's company is now finished and ready for the market. They'd officially introduced the book at an exhibition, but they seemed distant from each other. There were no smiles on their faces anymore. Later, Kyung Woo received an offer from a film company to collaborate after their book became a bestseller. She was invited to dinner with the CEO of the film company at a fancy restaurant. Outside the restaurant, she ran into Lee Su, who was celebrating his father's birthday there. After meeting Lee Su's parents, Kyung Woo then had a dinner meeting with the CEO of the film company, who turned out to be Su Jun. Su Jun had made up an excuse to have dinner with Kyung Woo. Meanwhile, Lee Su, seeing them together, felt heartbroken. Kyung Woo had previously told Lee Su she was meeting the CEO, but now she was having dinner with Su Jun and had lied to him. The next day, Lee Su, still in love with Kyung Woo, met her again. While Kyung Wu was working, a man accidentally spilled hot coffee, and it was about to hit her. Then, Lee Su quickly stepped in and saved her, even though he got burned by the coffee himself. Kyung Wu, seeing Lee Su injured, immediately took him to the hospital for treatment. Feeling guilty, Kyung Wu wants to make things right by taking care of Lee Su until he recovers. At that moment, Lee Su sees this as an opportunity and always asks Kyung Wu to accompany him. Not only does Kyung Wu keep him company, but she also takes care of him. She even joins Lee Su while he's working, and after they finish, they go to the beach together. Their bond grows stronger and Lee Su gives Kyung Wu a flower. He tells her he loves her again, but this time, he doesn't want to hear her answered yet. He's afraid of getting hurt if she rejects him once more. Afterward, as they continued their journey, their car ran out of gas. Lee Su saw this as a chance and suggested they stargaze together. In that romantic moment, Kyung Wu finally confessed her feelings. She sincerely told Lee Su that she loved him back. The next day, to celebrate their anniversary, Lee Su picked up Kyung Wu for their first official date. They spent the whole day together, and even at night, Kyung Wu stayed over at Lee Su's house because she didn't want to be apart from him. Eventually, they went to a cafe with their friends one night. 
With a beaming smile, Lisu announced that they were officially a couple. Everyone was shocked and couldn't believe it. Meanwhile, Su Jun is drinking with his assistant because he's feeling desperate about winning Kim Wu's love. While he's drunk, he gets a message from Kim Wu asking to meet up. Soon after, they meet at a cafe, where Kim Wu tells Su Jun that she's officially dating Lee Su now. Upon hearing that, Su Jun isn't surprised because he had a feeling Kim Wu would go back to Lee Su. At that time, Su Jun admits that he's out of love now and doesn't believe in it anymore. Kim Wu reassures him that she'll help him heal from his love trauma. At the meeting, she goes back home to Lee Su. The next day, Kim Wu goes shopping and buys a very sexy dress, hinting that she's planning something. Afterward, she goes to Lee Su's apartment. While in the elevator, Kim Wu encounters a conceited woman. They both step out of the elevator and Kim Wu notices the woman knocking on Lee Su's apartment door. Lee Su warmly welcomes the woman with a hug, which leaves Kim Wu feeling uneasy. She hesitates to ring the doorbell, but stops herself from doing so. Before she leaves, Li Su unexpectedly appears and is surprised to see Kyung Wu there. At that moment, the woman introduces herself as Yu Ra. Suddenly, the atmosphere becomes awkward, and even Li Su seems unsure of what to do. As Kyung Wu prepares to leave, Li Su offers to give her a ride, but she declines. It turned out that Yu Ra was a friend of Li Su from when he studied in America. She came to offer him a job opportunity. It was a chance for Li Su to work as a photographer at a famous advertising company in America which was everyone's dream. But there, Li Su was silent and confused about whether to accept the offer. The next night, he waited for Kim Wu to arrive so he could talk to her. When they met, Li Su explained that his meeting with Yu Ra was a misunderstanding. He told Kim Wu that Yu Ra was just a friend who came to tell him about a job offer he received at a well-known advertising company in Korea. Li Su confessed that he decided to stay in Korea forever and give up his dream for Kim Wu, whom he loves. Hearing this, Kim Wu was overjoyed because now Li Su wouldn't be far away from her anymore. Meanwhile, at Song Yut's cafe, Jin Ju, who visits there every day, was actually just using it as an excuse to see Song Yuk because she has feelings for him. On the other hand, Song Yuk, who also likes Jin Ju, finally admits his feelings. Now, their friendship has turned into love. Meanwhile, Kim Wu is still suspicious about Yu Ra. She thinks Yu Ra might be involved with Li Su. To clear her doubts, she meets Yu Ra at a cafe. There, Kim Wu asks why Yu Ra went to Li Su's house the other day. Yu Ra explains that she only went to Li Su's house to tell him about a job offer he got from an advertising company in America. However, Li Su turned down the offer because he didn't want to leave Kim Wu again. After hearing Yu Ra's explanation, Kim Wu fell silent. Later that evening, she went to Li Su's house and confronted him about his lie. Kim Wu insisted that Li Su tell the truth. On the other hand, Li Su, who truly wanted to pursue his dreams, admitted that he had actually planned to take the job opportunity and leave Korea for two years. However, this time, he wanted Kim Wu to come with him. Upon hearing this invitation, Kim Wu, who didn't want to be separated from Li Su, agreed to go with him. Soon after, she received a call from Su Jun, inviting her to meet him at a restaurant. During their meeting, Su Jun offered Kim Wu a job as a writer at his company once again. He promised to support her and help her become a famous writer in Korea if she joined his company. Upon hearing about this opportunity, Kim Wu, who dreams of becoming a famous writer in Korea, felt torn. She had to choose between accompanying Lee Su or pursuing her dreams. The next evening, Lee Su went to Kim Wu's house to ask her parents for permission. He planned for both of them to embark on a long journey to pursue their dreams. But surprisingly, Kim Wu declined. Everyone was shocked by her decision. However, later in the car, Kim Wu explained her reasons. She didn't want to be a burden to Lee Su. Despite Lee Su's insistence that he wouldn't go without her, Kim Wu disagreed. She encouraged him to pursue his dream while she promised to wait for him. Kim Wu suggested they maintain a long-distance relationship and vowed to protect her heart for Lee Su, even if they were apart. The next day, before parting ways, they hugged tightly, knowing it would be a memory they'd cherish for years. Then, Lee Su left Kim Wu to chase after his career and dreams. After Lee Su left, Kim Wu and Lee Su kept in touch through video calls to ease their longing. At first, the calls were romantic, and they seemed happy in their long-distance relationship. But after two months, boredom crept in, and they started making fewer calls. Eventually, Kim Wu grew tired of the distance and realized she couldn't continue. Feeling exhausted, 
Kyung Woo told Lee Soo she couldn't wait any longer. Reluctantly, she suggested they break up. In the end, they officially ended their relationship. A year later, Kyung Woo has achieved her dream of becoming a famous writer in Korea. Her successes made her a hot topic on social media. In an interview, she credited Su Joon, the CEO of her book company, for helping her publish her books and supporting her along the way. Meanwhile, Lee Soo, who had seen Kyung Woo's success on social media, has returned to Korea. At that time, Kyung Woo was teaching in her bookstore. Then, she receives a call from Su Joon, saying he'll pick her up. To her surprise, Lee Soo arrives unexpectedly, having returned from abroad. After catching up, Lee Soo apologized to Kyung Woo for breaking her heart again. But Kyung Woo wasn't ready to forgive him. She made it clear that there was no chance for him anymore. Then, Su Joon showed up, making the situation even more awkward. Seeing this, Lee Soo stepped aside to prevent any more hurt feelings for Kyung Woo. Lee Soo went home, realizing that Kyung Woo had moved on since he left. Later, he met up with his friends at Sung Yuk's cafe to celebrate his return and success. After drinks, Lee Soo walked Kyung Woo home. Before they parted, he reminded her of a promise she made before he left, to grant him a wish when he returned. And now, he was asking for that promise to be fulfilled. Then Lee Soo asked if they could go back to the time before they broke up, just for one day, and then he promised not to pursue Kyung Woo's love anymore. The next day, Lee Soo came to pick up Kyung Woo. He pretended like they hadn't broken up, wearing a smile. But Kyung Woo couldn't pretend to be happy. She didn't smile back and even during her meal, she couldn't act the same as before. As they were about to leave, Lee Soo tried once more to reconnect with Kyung Woo, but she refused. She was still hurt by how Lee Soo didn't keep in touch after they parted ways. Lee Soo explained they were in different time zones and couldn't always communicate easily. Lee Soo tried to talk to Kyung Woo, but she didn't want to listen anymore. She said Lee Soo had hurt her too much and she needed to take a step back from their relationship. The next day, Lee Soo's photo exhibition opened and many people came. At that time, he hoped Kyung Woo would come, but he knew she probably wouldn't because he understood her feelings. Lee Soo's mother, seeing her son sad, decided to thank Kyung Woo for being part of his life. Even though their relationship caused pain, Lee Soo's mother said they were both still acting selfishly, like children who only wanted to be understood but never wanted to understand others. Lee Soo's mom's words touched Kyung Woo's heart. She realized she had been selfish all this time. Feeling regretful, Kyung Woo rushed to Lee Soo's photo exhibition. But when she got there, Lee Soo wasn't around. Instead, she found Lee Soo's journal, where he talked about his journey to achieve his dreams and how important a woman was in that journey. Reading this, Kyung Woo was moved to tears. She realized she was that woman in Lee Soo's life. As she cried, Lee Soo suddenly appeared. Now, having overcome her selfishness, Kyung Woo apologized and asked to start their relationship again. Hearing this, Lee Soo hugged her tightly. After they patched things up, Lee Soo and Kyung Woo started spending time together again. Meanwhile, we also see Yong Hee and Yoon Jae, who have feelings for each other. Inspired by the happiness of Jin Ju and Sung Yuk, they decide to officially become a couple too. From then on, the three couples often hung out together and went on trips. Jin Ju and Sung Yuk, Yong Hee and Yoon Jae, and Lee Soo and Kyung Woo all went to the beach together. They enjoyed each other's company and had fun with their partners. In the end, all three couples decided to get married at the same time. The film ends. The moral lesson from this film is never trust someone who claims they're good at keeping secrets, but can't even keep a photo of you in their wallet. It's like trusting a squirrel to guard your nuts. Yep, it's totally nuts.